Imagine stepping into a world where the tiniest particles decide how reality itself works, where time, space, matter can bend at will. This is the realm of quantum and particle physics, edge of science where imagination meets reality. From the Higgs boson discovered at CERN to quantum computers that could outthink any AI, we are crossing into an era once thought impossible. By the way, if you know what CERN is, let me know in the comments. Like Tony Stark building super tech in Iron Man or Neo who can bend reality in the matrix. Today's scientists are unlocking powers that can cure diseases, build hack-proof communication networks, and maybe even carry humans across galaxies. Yet, the biggest mysteries remain. What is dark matter? Why does dark energy push galaxies apart faster and faster? Do hidden dimensions lie just beyond our perception? And why does simply observing a quantum particle seem to change reality itself? India's national quantum mission is opening doors for young minds ready to step into the unknown frontier. The challenges are cosmic, the questions are infinite, and the next breakthrough could come from you. The quantum universe is waiting. Buckle up, the adventure begins now. Hello everyone, my name is Swam Prakash. In this video, we're going to talk about career options in quantum and particle physics. So what do we have in this beginning is particle physicist. Imagine smashing particles at nearly the speed of light to uncover invisible building blocks of the universe. Discoveries like Higgs boson, quarks, open windows into how truly nature works, right? And uh, this is what particle physicists typically do. So it's not just limited to studying tiniest particles that include quarks, gluons, <laughs> neutrinos, Higgs boson, and all this is done in experimental facilities such as CERN. What is LHC? It's Large Hadron Collider. What is Hadron? Why do we collide hadrons? It's a part of separate discussion, but if you are interested in that, let us know in the comments. We also have India's INO project and the societal impact is huge, okay? For example, not just limited to MRI, PT scans. Do you know where was the first refrigerator invented or built? It was at CERN, okay? Not for daily use or purposes, but for particle physics experimentations, okay? So the real life or societal impact is really huge. It can also be used in radiation therapies and other medical purposes. Typical route or path to become a particle physicist is you start from a bachelor's in science, of course, transitioning to a master's and then specializing in nuclear particle physics or similar domains and then uh, continue your PhD or postdocs in the same arena, okay, from India or worldwide institutes such as TFR, HRI, ISER, SNIZER, etc. The stipend or salaries is 6 to 15 lakh rupees per annum in India. Uh, six varies for, uh, you know, PhD students and uh, becoming higher for postdoctorate and project students. And of course, becoming professors and all gets you much better pay range. And uh, for postdoctorates, the 60 to 80 thousand dollars is the basic average pay scale for the salary or stipend abroad in countries like US or other European countries. Next up we have is... Uh, Nuclear physicist. So what is a nuclear physicist, right? So they are basically called masters of atoms power. They can generate limitless clean energy or create life-saving isotopes for cancer treatment. So the same science that lights a city can also save a life. So what do they do is explore nuclear energy and related phenomena via fission, fusion, of different elements, isotopes, and other compounds. And where does it happen? At institutes or research labs in uh, BARC, VECC, Kolkata, IUSAC, and IGCAR, okay? And of course, in other uh, similar institutes as well. Again, societal impact is very huge. Uh, it can be used in nuclear medicine, cancer radiation therapies, power generation, and of course, defense. Salary is also typical. By the way, salary is uh, typical in all such similar fields whereas uh, you get around 6 lakhs per annum for uh, PhD and it increases as you switch to postdoctorate or other fellowships or uh, eventually in project assistantship or uh, professorship, okay? So in professors, you get around 1 to 1.5 lakh rupees per month and uh, that's what it is. So we'll not be discussing salary for each and every profession here. Next up, 
we have theoretical physicists. Okay, so they are actually the visionaries who not just use equations, but they also use their imagination to explain reality itself. It can be from studying Big Bang to black holes, string theory. They don't need uh, labs, experimentation facilities. They're just uh, genius, intelligent, and good at mathematics. So they typically build equations for universe and beyond other things as well, microscopic and macroscopic, string theory, quantum field theory, quantum gravity, sometimes condensed matter, high energy. This uh, all is included here at institutes like Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, HRI, Harishan Research Institutes, okay, very famous for uh, uh, quantum physics, high energy physics and uh, some quantum computing. So ICTS, Bangalore, ISC Bangalore, IMSC, Chennai. Uh, impact again is huge. All these things can be used in uh, GPS navigation, cosmology, semiconductors, of course, very high uh, impactful thing. Okay, next up we have salary is again typical. Next up, we have a quantum physicist. Have you ever heard about something called as quantum computing or uh, quantum teleportation? So quantum physicists are the people who actually explore the weirdest laws of nature, such as uh, quantum teleportation or entanglement or tunneling. If you have heard about or know what quantum tunneling actually is, give a comment. We'll personally reply and like to that particular comment because we want to see your curiosity, right? And uh, this is not just science fiction, okay? This is real and testable physics. That is what uh, they exactly do. Explore quantum me mechanical phenomena via things like entanglement, tunneling, teleportation, and much more, okay? So for example, this tunneling has a very wide use in making semiconductors, okay? And chipsets that you use all around uh, at institutes like Iser Pune, RRI Bangalore, TIFR, ISC, Iser, NISER, ICTS, other places as well. Impact is huge. Like I said, transistors, quantum sensors, lasers, salary again is typical since sometimes uh, this includes very applicable work. So quantum physicists can be paid a bit more in places like US, Europe, Japan, where uh, industries are there, applications are explored more than just theory. Next, we have quantum computing scientists or an engineer. So these are the people who actually build the next generation supercomputers that can crack impossible codes, invent new medicines, or even simulate an entire universe in seconds, okay? Basically building quantum computers, algorithms, testing, running, execute all these phenomena at places like IIT Madras. It has a particular quantum center. Okay, RRI Bangalore is also there. CDAC, ISC Bangalore, TIFR, and various other research institutes across India and the world, since we are talking just about India. The impact again is very large because this sometimes fuels the other experiments and facilities to work, such as high performance computing, right? Cryptography, drug discovery. So as you can see, um, more and more we delve into complex phenomena, it becomes more and more interdisciplinary. So some sort of biology is also used. Physics, of course, is there. Mathematics is there. Sometimes computer science, chemistry has also been used in experiments. Salary, again, is typical, sometimes a bit more because engineer or a computing scientist is involved here. Next up, we have quantum communications or a network specialist, right? So these people are uh, actually responsible for architecting the hack-proof internet that we see all around, okay? And we are going to see in the future as well in the quantum computation age. So by tools like quantum cryptography, they can make your data literally impossible to steal, which otherwise will not be possible if we have short algorithm or a working quantum computer around us, right? So this is what they do. And there are institutes and not just government universities or institutes, but other research laboratories and organizations such as Indian Space Research Organization is actively exploring this as well. DRDO is working at that. There are startups such as QNU Labs working in quantum communication or quantum sensing, right? There are uh, institutes like ISERS, ISC, NISER, etc. working in the same field as well. Impact is cybersecurity, defense, quantum internet, and of course not just limited to all these. Salary is typical, sometimes a bit more depending on the work that you do. By the way, in case you haven't heard about that, IIT Delhi in collaboration with DRDO recently demonstrated the working of quantum entanglement over a range of one kilometer. How incredible is that? So this actually indicates as we can scale this over more and more distances, more and more immensely phenomenal phenomena is going to be seen all around the world. Okay, so there is 
immense potential in all such tools, techniques and studies, right? Next up, we have uh, medical and radiation physicists. Again, very, very interdisciplinary, impactful and applicable domain. So the hidden lifesavers in hospitals who use radiation particle physics to not just diagnose, but fight diseases like cancer with PT scans, MRIs and cutting edge radiation and other therapy, okay? So that's what they do. They actually apply nuclear and particle physics studies in healthcare and related fields at institutes like BARC, many various hospitals such as AIMS, Tata Memorial Center. By the way, Nizer and other institutes are also setting up their collaborations with TMC. So that if you're interested in pursuing MSc from there, you can actually do that. The AIMS Tata Memorial, like I already said, the impact, we can already guess, advanced cancer treatment and much more, you know, ranging from saving lives to uh, producing world-class research. And uh, salary uh, starts from, you know, the typical six to 15 lakh per annum and it can increase depending on the work that you're doing and the impact that you're able to create, not just in your country, but around the world in related areas. Now, we can see what the final takeaways that uh, PhD actually is the real entry point for pursuing cutting edge research in any of these domains. So many a times the biggest misconception is as soon as you start pursuing your bachelor's or BSc or a BTEC, you become a scientist. Actually, you do pursue science, you study those uh, subjects, but the actual cutting edge research where you are given sufficient freedom, liberty and resources to conduct your own experiments and theoretical research is from your PhD. Why? Because it takes some time. You know, science is very vast. Physics itself has five to six different domains which you need to study for two to three to four years, right? And uh, naturally it takes time to build your expertise and credentials in that area. So industry jobs are uh, opening up after MSc, MTech in programs like quantum computing, cryptography and communication and related fields such as sensing communication as well. National Quantum Mission by Government of India has allocated 6,000 crores and this is India's ISRO movement for quantum technology. This is huge, right? So you cannot even imagine how much more opportunities are going to open up, not just in India, but abroad and uh, for all the research institutions present in India for the youth for people like you who are curious, who are passionate about pursuing a career in quantum physics, uh, particle physics and related fields like nuclear phenomena as well. And uh, impact is like we have discussed, very immense from lasers to MRI, healthcare, communication, defense, agriculture to quantum computers, hack proof internet and solving the deepest mysteries of our universe, right? So, and also new hubs in institutes like IC Bangalore, IITs, TIFR, many research internships, PhD projects will open soon, right? And in the 21st century, we cannot afford to miss the quantum revolution because the next big discovery or the startup could come from you. And quantum is the next revolution after AI. India is no longer just a follower. We are building our own quantum computers, secure communication system, and even contributing to fundamental physics on a worldwide scale. And this means huge opportunities for students like you and all around you, right? By the way, this video was about careers in quantum and nuclear physics. If you even wonder or passionate about uh, careers in space sciences like astrophysics, astronomy, cosmology, space scientists and related things, you can watch this video. By the way, if you have come this far, I would strongly recommend you to subscribe to this channel because it takes lots of effort to make such videos and we are working more and more to bring more valuable and impactful content here. By the way, if you have any ideas for us to make content or we are also even planning to bring out a series of career options in different aspects of science. If you want that, then uh, definitely let us know in the comments. Till then, bye-bye everyone, all the best.